News, we have breaking news. 4,600 union members are walking off the job at Ford's Torrance plant in Chicago. Right now, CBS 2's Brad Edwards is following the developments live in our newsroom. Brad? Just hit home. It hit home, and it hit home in a big way. Thousands of workers at the Ford assembly plant now hitting the picket lines. UAW president said there hasn't been enough meaningful progress in negotiations with Ford and General Motors, even though some workers have been on strike for 15 days now. So he's turning up the heat on the companies in an effort to get a deal. This morning, union president John Fain announced the UAW will expand the strike against the big three automakers, GM, Ford, Stellantis. The move adds 7,000 more workers to the picket lines. The UAW is asking for higher wages, better benefits, says workers need to show their strength to the companies to get their demands. I'm calling on Ford's Chicago assembly plant to stand up and go on strike. Those words right there mean it all. The Ford plant on the far south side makes the Ford Explorer and the Lincoln Navigator. The Explorer, of course, a super seller, super profitable. So this hits the automaker hard. That's part of their strategy. The Torrance plant actually is one of the oldest, longest running auto plants in U.S. history. So total now, this brings the number of UAW members currently on strike at Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis to 25,000 workers, 2,300 workers at GM's plant in Lansing, Michigan, that's the state capital there, right in the center of the city, also walked off the job this morning. Those were the two big announcements today, plant in Lansing, plant right in our backyard, and two of them, they're biggies. That's the news right now. Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News.